today uh, today we are going to start our first unit from the subject microcontroller and applications so before going to start this uh, uh, syllabus so a few instructions from my side to you that uh, as we discussed in the last session so till the uh, yesterday i got only the four this uh, email id problem uh, issues so today we are going to solve that one so others are uh, <clears throat> requested to just keep uh, ready or uh, use the your official mail id only because uh, yesterday you have might be seen that is the by using the official mail id only if you log in that time only you are able to just log into this particular session so that is expected from the students the second thing is that the one uh, link we have or the power sir has given rahul power for the registration for one seminar on sunday that is it is a seminar on aptitude training so it's a very nice session so i also requested on the group and uh, requesting here also to just get it register today only so as the session is tomorrow 10 am so the link will be provided to you definitely by tomorrow and uh, you supposed to join that one and definitely you supposed to keep the screenshot of it with you itself so whenever it is been demanded so you supposed to produce that one okay the next very important thing that uh, what uh, yesterday uh, on tya group it's uh, happened that is uh, related to the feeds collection so uh, already we have started to get the fees completion for sy and uh, third year also some admission fee we supposed to just pay by 10th of this october as per the notice from the office side so it is a request to all of you that whatever it is possible so immediately we have to clear the first second year uh, remaining fee and so that we, it is an official process so we cannot deny for that one so you're supposed to get involved in this actively and get it complete this particular process if any type of query is there or doubt is there so definitely you can call to me and uh, last one that is the one uh, instruction or the notice just uh, yesterday we have put that if anyone is uh, the bank from our class so he or she has to just intimate to your uh, to me as a class coordinator uh, a scholarship type uh, something is there from the one of the uh, social uh, party so that we are going to apply through our university and definitely some uh, type of the profit uh, you will get from that one so if anyone is having the this <clears throat> physical or what is the medical certificate definitely it is required for that okay so we're supposed to just if anyone is there so today itself you just make it contact to me thank you so next to that uh, we will move ahead that is the we, today we are going to start the first unit for this so today i have shared from that why the so today we are going to start our first unit that is introduction to microcontroller so as this is the uh, first unit so definitely it will be the first introduction and to the subject so sir i need to know see this is not the platform to just make a chat like this <laughs> this is the session uh, a learning session is going on so as i given the instructions so afterwards you can uh, call me so that we can talk and we uh, i can solve your query so in between such uh, message is not expected from all of you so give concentration be serious be attentive here okay thank you so all of you uh, just be here in the session only and just uh, keep open your notebooks so as the <clears throat> 
other subject teachers also, also asked you to just open the notebook and uh, whatever you are learning here so note it down in the your notebook so it is expected that the uh, whenever the offline classes were there so the same manner we supposed to just conduct this online sessions also so that that the particular clarity in the students or the seriousness or the this eagerness or the getting the knowledge so that uh, decorum should be maintained so uh, all of you just pr prepare the notebooks for every subject separate notebooks and for our mca subject also one separate notebook you supposed to be expected to prepare so in the last sessions we have or, uh, written down the syllabus the course outcomes and now today we are going to start with the this particular introduction to microcontroller unit number one got it so uh, already the syllabus we have dictated and we have seen so here for your sake just uh, we are uh, this syllabus once again i have mentioned over here so it is a uh, first is the introduction so uh, approximately the what is this uh, introduction in the last session only we have gone through that the uh, history of this particular microcontroller so that also comes in this particular introduction but some technical uh, introduction it is also there so that today we are going to focus on that then the next bit from this unit we are going to study is that the comparison between the processor and the, this uh, controller then CISC what is CISC uh, what is RISC uh, that the names we have heard so but the, in detail we supposed to just get it the knowledge of it then the what is Harvard architecture, Newman architecture. So what it is related with. So that also we supposed to just check it out. Uh, and at the last, uh, we are going to just uh, check out for the development system for the controller. So how this particular the developments are uh, been made and uh, new new versions are came in the market and how this the currently the controller is working in in our circuits so for this unit uh, i will refer or i will uh, introduce the uh, book this is the mazidi uh, from pearson uh, education publication so you can use this particular book for getting the knowledge of all this the basic things of the controller so that here also we are going to learn but it is a ppt so only the highlighting points we are going to be added there so in descriptive if you want so you can visit to our library and definitely you will get a book from our library okay so lot many books are available of this particular masdi so this is the what uh, syllabus the next point we supposed to just discuss is that the title of the chapter about title of the chapter so what is the title of the chapter and what does it mean why this particular chapter name it has been given to this particular unit so our chapter name is introduction to microcontroller so what is this the words particularly has the meaning so introduction introduction is nothing but to get know the things the first time whenever in the new things it comes in front of us so to get it some knowledge or to get know more about it so that is the introduction so maximum of you has completed this uh, in the diploma but here also from new angle because a lot many gap is there so now with that the, we are supposed to recall that one and to get it the once again revise this particular The controller and what is the controller that is the next version of the microprocessor the next version of the microprocessor so you might be studied the microprocessor so what it is what is its use how it is to be used where it is being used like that so the same parameters we supposed to apply to this microcontroller but in microcontroller there is a let uh, latest features or the advancement in that one so uh, that we are supposed to focus in coming units but here at this moment we are supposed to know a little bit about the microcontroller so the title it has been given introduction to microcontroller next one that is the central idea of the chapter 
so i hope uh, you are uh, writing all this one because one one two two lines are there so you just uh, mention in the notebook so that whenever we meet uh, in offline one so your notebooks must have this particular point so that time you don't just uh, make argument that so that time when you have told to write in and all that one so this is the start of the unit so it is expected from you all the students to be noted down in the your notebooks so i am not dictating but i am explaining here but as the screen is in front of you so you can just manage to uh, check out and you can write it down so central idea means what what is uh, included in this particular unit so that is to be added in this particular central idea so this chapter contains the introduction and compare with the earlier version so earlier version is definitely it is nothing but the, our microprocessor so some basic uh, architecture systems is also introduced okay, how it is uh, which architecture been used what is its uh, internal structure what it contains which technology is been used uh, while manufacturing so that it is been introduced in this uh, particular unit so the manufacturing is the very important in the any point of view of this particular the controller but it is a uh, thing that in india no company is manufacturing the this microcontroller we all are just assembling that that means we are just importing these particular parts and we are assembling here and we are preparing the application oriented circuit get it application oriented circuit that is the nowadays the raspberry in arduino all that uh, it uh, readily available in the market but uh, that all we have imported not through any of the company from our uh, india itself they are just manufacturing this particular the component so that is also the case here and due to that maybe the costing and all that it is matters the thing is not that uh, we don't have the qualified or the te uh, technical engineers with us but the thing is that the what the uh, basic capital infrastructure is required to uh, just uh, build up this particular industry of manufacturing the ics or the other things so that in that we are just a little bit lagging otherwise the research front the design front all our engineers and these student engineers are Uh, efficient for that work so the next part to be discussed is that the importance of the chapter so why this particular chapter is been added in our syllabus so as it is the intro uh, import uh, introduction of this microcontroller so as we are going ahead so different uh, features and the parameters we are going to focus but for that we should know that ki what is microcontroller the outside view or the brief idea of that it is expected to know so that's why this particular chapter is been added over here nowadays well, as the technology gone ahead the automation is very becomes the popular which adds the new new features so for that design and interfacing this particular features so definitely the basic it is sh should be the uh, required for everyone so this is what the importance of the chapter is here then the uh, last point from this particular the uh, first unit before going to start the exact the bits so chapter outcomes so every course course means the our subject subject outcomes we have seen so every chapter is also having the outcomes outcome means what ki after learning this subject or here after learning this unit so students will be able to what students will be able to able to explain history of controller that means what is the history of controller how the, the new new versions has uh, reached to the market and oh, what is the current trend in the market students will be able to compare microprocessor and microcontroller students will be able to brief the internal architecture of this particular controller 
that is which type of architecture is been used and what is the its meaning exactly how many architectures are available and from that which architecture it has been applicable for microcontroller so the the family of microcontroller is a <clears throat> very big one so in that who is using what technology or it is based on what technology so that is also needs to be a part of study so that also as we are going ahead so we will come to know that key which different architectures are there and that uh, which architecture is uh, applicable for this particular microcontroller which we are going to study in first section which uh, controller we are going to study that is 8051 that controller we are going to study in the first section and in the second section we are going to focus on the next version of controller that is the PIC, P -I -C. so that PIC uh, IC also we are going to uh, learn in that the uh, particular PIC IC we are going to focus which is most popular here that we are going to study and uh, in addition to that not only the study of that particular controller or the PIC but how the interfacing might be there uh, how we can uh, get the different features ahead of this controller in PIC so that also we are going to have a study so as far as the practical is been concerned so the from next week probably the practicals we are uh, expecting to get it start so definitely it will be the online only but here also so for simulation only we are trying to show over here so from uh, your side the whatever if you are having the laptops or uh, desktops so you supposed to just install these particular softwares Nowadays, the student uh, versions are available online for every each and every software. So you can just get it installed there so that the some practice has to be done there. This practice makes the interest of that student in that particular subject. And if you get the interest in that subject, so definitely whatever we are just learning in these particular sessions, so you can match this particular your experience and what you are going to learn over here. So this simulation uh, software, the multi-sim or the produce that uh, kill software. So these are the few softwares which is required for us. So when the practical will start, definitely I will explain that one also. Okay, so this these are the chapter outcomes. So I hope uh, you have noted down this is the chapter outcomes. So let us go with the first bit of this that is the introduction. So I hope uh, this uh, screen is visible. If not, you know, you just make it zoom at your level. So first point is that the what is microcontroller? So we have talked about microcontroller processor, but what exactly in one line, if someone will ask in the interview also, if they will ask, if I will ask that he in one line, explain microcontroller. So what definition you can give? So microcontroller is a small computer that is capable of performing specific task. That is very important because the processor was there. So it was the general uh, processor, but controller means it has to control something. So this something means specific task, like the example is also given that is car alarm, washing machine, headphone, the PDAs, tablets, and all the other smartphones and all these also the, it is the controlling devices. We can make it under of that. So this is what the controller is having the its own origin of just manufacturing. What it doing? It controls the specific task or the instruments or the devices. How it is been done? So in coming units, one by one, we are going to focus. So there are many similar names. That is the history. That is microprocessor based system, controller, EMCU, MPU, CPU. So these all are the names of microcontrollers. Somewhere, sometimes someone is using any one of it. 
so that time we don't have to get confused here where we have studied the microcontroller so what is it so basically it can be grouped in two ways that is the mcu or the mpu so microcontroller unit and microprocessor unit so this is the what the heart we can say of a embedded system so embedded system is a very vast field uh, if you are thinking of just doing the projects of your final year so definitely this is a very vast field and from that one of the uh, region or one of the part we can say that is the controller because nowadays the all the projects are uh, uh, just focusing or related with the automation only or the controlling so definitely this is the embedded systems are there and uh, a part of that is the microcontroller so i hope you all are uh, familiar with this microcontroller and you, it will create a little interest in that and if yes so definitely you can tell uh, take a help of your project guide so i hope yesterday what we have talked so accordingly the project groups are been finalized now and you have chosen the respective guides also for your group okay so this is what the embedded system is next one ki what is this the internal if you will see the blocks ki what is the main if i will ask that the uh, explain or uh, give a brief internal structure of the microcontroller so what it contain so ne next point we are going to learn that is the difference between uh, processor and controller so in that what it has so it ha it is uh, having the internally the different blocks the blocks means the fa facilities definitely which helps to reduce the size of controller and to reduce the cost also so what it contains so the over this microcontroller is having the internally it is a rom ram timer the communication ports that is serial port io port the bus control that is the address bus data bus and the main part is the cpu and to run the cpu oscillator is must without oscillator nothing will be uh, possible to make it start or uh, make it work on this particular the controller so this all it is the inside of that particular chip yesterday we have gone through or we have seen the what exactly how it uh, chips look like the pentium 1 pentium 2 pentium 3 dual core so in that all these all are the parts of that particular chip so it is having the just uh, uh, i can say the 1 by 1 inch size of that particular chip and it contains all this type of the facilities on the this particular so this 4k byte rom so it may be get differ uh, model to model so it is not a fixed one that is it uh, it should have the fixed uh, 4 kilobyte rom and all this one io ports here they have shown only the p0 to p3 so it may be uh, more than that and all this one so we supposed to just uh, focus only on that the main basic parameter the specific that is it a 4k or 8k or more than that so that we will see uh, one by one so as far as the 8051 is concern we are going to focus on the 8051 okay so just take a uh, one minute and uh, draw this block diagram give the heading in that the first unit under that introduction and title to this figure you supposed to give that the uh block diagram of controller general block diagram of controller and these blocks or the minimum these blocks will be there for any of the controller whatever the models you are going to study ahead so minimum these blocks will be there more than that it it will get added but not the subtracted so this is the main uh, basic <clears throat> general block diagram for any microcontroller so just 
don't use the scale and all that but only by pen or by pencil itself you just draw the blocks and make an interconnection so these interconnections are important here to get understand and the arrows what is the meaning of this uh, arrows you might be aware that somewhere it is a two sided arrows and somewhere it is one sided arrows so it is just explaining that so it is a unidirectional communication or bidirectional communication so you might be aware of this type of this the uh, meaning of this arrows so arrows are also very important sagar patil it's 10:30 and uh, he is asking for a admit so such students we are not at all going to entertain but if i will remove him so his name will go in a absenteeism got it so don't give this chance to just put your name in a absenteeism like this because we are just preparing for this all the teaching material teaching to you on time so we are also doing a, a little hard work so it is expected from your side also that you also take a interest in that show interest in this and get some knowledge that is beneficial for you itself sagar patil so take care from onwards on time you should be there in the class okay if it is drawn we, uh, we will go ahead so definitely this ppt also we will share after this one or you can just go through the Uh, video uh, that also one instruction i supposed to give to you all that student <coughs> material sheet it is been uh, provided to you so that link is uh, will be given to you so from that you supposed to just check out those who have missed the sessions lectures like this uh, due to late uh, joining and all this one so you can uh, check the videos Uh, on youtube videos we have just converted this all recording and we are uh, have put on a one uh, youtube channel itself so your duty is also to check out this particular youtube channel visit that video and if you have seen or you have do that so like and all that what it is there so it is not expected but you can do that time only okay so those who missed the sessions so all the videos are readily available on the youtube channel so after this session uh, or in the lunch time the cr madam you just uh, make a one call to me so that uh, how this is going to be happen so we will have a one to minute discussion okay <clears throat> if you are drawn this one so we will move ahead so next one the point is that the microprocessor versus controller so make a little bit zoom so that you will get that the what it is there and what it what it is not there so the left side it is the microprocessor and the right side it is the controller so microprocessor we have studied so we know that the, it is just only having the minimum uh, blocks that is the alu that is working the heart of this particular processor arithmetic logic unit which is going to be work on the instructions so which instructions which are stored in the this particular the program counter stack pointer or the this particular accumulator so these registers are also uh, storing these instructions so exactly uh, the actual instructions are been stored in these registers the answer is no the it is been encoded Got it? It's opcode. 
is been stored in this particular registers and what is the meaning of this opcode that is also stored in this particular the um, controller and accordingly the alu is going to work whether it is the addition or it is the subtraction whether it is the data transfer or it is what it, else it is so that it is going to be known so this is the simple microprocessor is there it cannot can control or it cannot interface uh, directly with any of the external devices but parallelly if you will see the controller what the additional features it has been added in the controller so the first uh, additional important thing is that the ram and rom ram and rom because whenever we are going to write any program or code so it has to be stored somewhere so that facility it has been given in this particular the controller the alu is common accumulator registers are common the program counter is also common stack pointer is common clock circuit is also common and interrupt circuit is also common but additionally the timer counter program counter the io port and this ram rom so they are the additional in terms of this particular when we are talking about microcontroller so got it so this is the pictorial differentiation only we have shown over here the exactly the in wording if the comparison is been asked in the exam or uh, in a unit test so definitely you supposed to be able to note it down so the next we will go ahead is that the i will just make it what it become so this is what the comparison i have put uh, in front of you about the microprocessor and controller so microprocessor we have taken one uh, practical uh, example of microprocessor that is z80 so this is the uh, one of the model of this microprocessor and uh, in microcontroller definitely whatever we are going to learn or we are going to focus ahead that is the 8051 and uh, comparison parameters are also uh, written on the left side so you can uh, just observe this one particular so it is total pins both are having the 40 40 address pins means address lines actually it is there so 16 16 data lines also 88 so here one uh, thing we supposed to observe if it is all uh, we uh, supposed to be look same same ki pin 40 ahet address lines 16 ahet data pins 8 ahet but the main difference that is in the fixed the fixed fixed means what ki in microprocessor no other work can be allotted to this address lines or the data lines but it is flexible in the microcontroller even though it is having the 16 lines so they can be used for the other purpose also for other facilities also so which are they so that when we will see the pin diagram so that time we will come to know the same thing is about the interrupt pins ki how many interrupt pins are there for the processor and how many are for the controller the io pins so i o pins means for interfacing with the external devices so that is not available in the processor any type of the processor uh, but it is available in, with the help of this particular micro controller so this is outer side or the outer focus this comparison points are there but if you will see internal comparison so that is the from the point of view of architecture internal architecture so microprocessor this z80 particularly it is a uh, mention over here so it is having this particular the 8 bit registers for storing the data and all this of course so it is 20 and in this 34 so 16 bit registers if we are talking so it is uh, having the four uh, in this processor and two it is in controller so it is having the uh, less number of Uh, 16 bit registers but the if you will see the 8 bit registers they are the uh, at around the 
particular double of this one so no need of just making that the user either donors are the char ahead but as the models are there so it has been fixed for that's why it looks in the comparison way so stack size so what is the stack so if you are compatible with the c programming so definitely you might be aware of the concept of stack pointer so this stack size is nothing but just uh, pipelining that is uh, at a time if multiple uh, instructions are coming so one by one that is the sequence is going to be maintained and for that some storage is required and that storage is nothing but this stack size so that is <coughs> a controller it is having the more internal rom ram it is not available in the processor but in this uh, uh, as far as this 8051 is concerned how much the rom it is having 4 kilobyte so in the mcq uh, definitely such questions are going to be <coughs> you uh, asked that is 4k or 4 or something else uh, just they are making a googly and they will just add uh, 4000 bytes so you will just remembering that ERA 4000 bytes i don't know we have studied only 4k so this 4k it is the logically it is the uh, 4000 internal ram it is having the only 128 byte and uh, external memory we can add up to uh, for microprocessor 64k and for controller it may be 128k so that way we can add this particular external memory the flags the flags uh, you might be studied in the processor that is the zero flag carry flag auxiliary ca carry flag so such flags are also uh, available in this controller or the both one timer parallel port and serial port they are not available with the any type of processor but uh, as far as this 8051 is concerned so there are for this two timers four parallel ports and one serial port so for <coughs> serial port definitely the two pins are required one is for transmission one is for reception so how it will <coughs> divided and how it look like for our uh, 8051 that we will see ahead so i hope you all of you has written down this particular the <coughs> the noting down this uh, comparison points because it is also very important as the introduction or the basics of this controller is concerned then so it is having the <coughs> official some uh, technical just give one minute so this is the slide uh, which is just showing just make it a little bit soon so that we, you will come to know that what it has been added so here some additional comparison points are being added for the microprocessor and controller so <clears throat> as far as uh, this slide is been concerned so first parameter uh, the diagram it has been shown that is for microprocessor different blocks or the devices or the instruments or the features it has to add externally which in the case of microcontroller it is inbuilt in the case of microcontroller it is inbuilt like what the rom ram io port timer and serial interface so all this it has been included in the microcontroller so that's why the diagram also may uh, becomes the point of comparison or the difference so that we supposed to just get here so i make a little bit zoom because i am also not able to just read out now it is okay so you can also make it a little bit more zoom so microprocessor is a heart of computer system so that is the general they have given so microcontroller is a heart of embedded system 
because as we discussed the embedded system is a vast area of just making this the application oriented circuits <clears throat> so in processor it is just a processor memory and io components they has to be connected externally internally nothing is available over there but in this it is there also and easily you can add the additional also for processor the io has to be connect externally in controller it is present internally due to that the size is also becomes the small one in controller processor cannot be used in a compact system and hence inefficient but a uh, controller is a very compact one so it is can be used in the different the uh, complicated circuits and uh, in all that because due to the size uh, say <clears throat> due to the cost say or due to the features say so uh, many reasons are there the next parameter is also the same cost of entire system increases so cost of entire system is low in processor due to external components the entire power consumption so that is also the one of the very important uh, point to be <clears throat> remember that is the power consumption should be less but in microprocessor it goes to high as compared to this particular the controller okay so this is also very important point uh, most of the processor do not have power saving feature so that is also added in this particular the 8051 so power saving is also very important feature so since memory and io component are all external each instruction will need external operations hence it is relatively slower because uh, step by step instruction by instructions if it is going to be work so definitely it will uh, becomes the slower in operation but in this all the components are internally only they don't have to depend on the just uh, send the request get the acknowledgement then transfer the data then again get the response from that so that is been avoided in the controller so that's why it is the speed of a controller is becoming the more than as compared to this particular the processor okay <clears throat> so microprocessor has a less number of registers so what is the use of registers so we discussed here that to store the particular upcodes and the instructions so <clears throat> it is having the less number of uh, these registers to store because uh, when the program is of 10 lines it is okay but if the same program is of uh, 100 or 1000 or lakhs of lines so that time it becomes a very uh, difficult for just managing or to just make it uh, operation fastly in the processor but in uh, controller a lot many registers are there so and various features are also there different instructions are there so it becomes the faster one also in that way also okay <clears throat> uh, next one that is the microprocessors are based on von neumann architecture so in the <clears throat> syllabus when we have written so we have noted down this point so what is this von Neumann architecture and what is Harvard architecture? That in the coming point, we are going to focus. But here, just remember, the processors are based on Neumann architecture. Very important line. Just note it down. Processors are based on the Neumann architecture. And controllers are based on the Harvard architecture so definitely both are the names of the scientists and uh, they have nominated or they have designed this particular the way of just making the communication okay so this is what the von neumann and harvard archi architecture is there so in next session definitely we will focus on this particular the components uh, next one when we will go for the comparison so the application where actually the this particular microprocessor was the older one definitely as compared to the controller so where it was being used so mainly it was used in the personal computers so you if you have seen the motherboard of uh, your desktop pc 
got it so for that uh, it is having the uh, uh, different different uh, components are mounted on this particular motherboard so that is one of the part is the processor and additionally the memories ram rom all it has been uh, kept aside this particular processor so if you get the chance to see the motherboard of your cpu so definitely you can get that uh, chance to see that one so that you will come to know that where what it is or in the our co college also a lot many such motherboards are kept for the uh, what we can say um, for introduction in the csc department so you can visit there and you can see there what it is uh, which part is there so all it is electronics only but as it is in a computer so it is kept in the csc department so that is the thing uh, at the same time the controllers if we are talking about the applications so automation controlling whenever it is there so these controllers are being used it may be washing machine and mp3 player so these two examples are given but everywhere that it may be in a aeroplane that is to be con get controlled just taking the readings observing and give the instructions so that is what the controlling is there so in a uh, television in a uh, uh, ac air conditioning or in automation also automotive industry also the controllers are nowadays are playing the main role of this the automation so this is what the difference uh, or the comparison we can say in between this particular the microprocessor and the controller so this is what i hope uh, we will stop over here the next uh, remaining part we will see in the next session we will take the attendance here and uh, then you can go for the joining next session so one by one i will just call the numbers so if you are there just unmute yourself and give the attendance so that is the practice we will keep ahead also uh, roll number one yes sir roll number two mm, if anyone is friend of uh, this roll number two so please ask her to just make a contact to me because uh, from many days uh, she is not attending a single lecture so just check out roll number 3 yes sir 4 yes sir are you yes sir 6 present 7 present sir 8 yes sir 9 Roll number nine, ten. Okay, ten, eleven. Yes, sir. Twelve. Yes, sir. Thirteen. Present, sir. Fourteen. Yes, sir. Fifteen. Yes, sir. Fifteen present. 16 present sir 7 17 present sir 18 present sir uh, 18 present sir 19 present sir 20 yes sir 21 21 22 23 24 24 24 are you there 25 present sir 26 present sir 27 27 of cent 28 present sir 
ट्वेंटी नाइन थर्टी प्रेजेंट थर्टी वन प्रेजेंट सर थर्टी टू थर्टी थ्री प्रेजेंट सर थर्टी टू इज प्रेजेंट थर्टी टू नो ओके थर्टी थ्री इज प्रेजेंट थर्टी थर्टी थ्री प्रेजेंट हाँ थर्टी फोर प्रेजेंट सर थर्टी फाइव यस सर थर्टी सिक्स थर्टी सेवन यस सर थर्टी एट यस सर थर्टी नाइन थर्टी नाइन फोर्टी फोर्टी वन फोर्टी वन फोर्टी टू सर फोर्टी प्रेजेंट सर अरे कुछ मग तुम्हें अटेन्डन्स चलो तुम्हें अपल प्रेजेंट है आता ही करता है सर रेंज ऐसी प्रॉब्लम है सर अरे जिथ रेंज चांगली है तिथ अशा ठिका बसत चला सग रिक्वेस्ट है कारण बाकी सब्जेक्ट ली एबसेंट ही लगती है मग पर कॉल ये तुम टेक केयर फोर्टी टू फोर्टी थ्री फोर्टी टू प्रेजेंट सर हाँ फोर्टी थ्री प्रभु आर यू देर प्रेजेंट सर ओके ओके हाँ फोर्टी फोर प्रेजेंट सर फोर्टी फाइव फोर्टी सिक्स फोर्टी सेवन फोर्टी एट फोर्टी नाइन यस सर फिफ्टी यस सर फिफ्टी वन फिफ्टी वन प्रेजेंट सर हाँ ओके थैंक यू सो डू द रजिस्ट्रेशन फॉर द टुमारो सेशन दैट इज अ वेरी बेनिफिशियल you uh, from, it is a request from my side you just attend that session so that that to whoever the this speaker is there na he is uh, excellent uh, in this uh, particular uh, section that is aptitude how to make it uh, easily or in a short time to how to uh, solve the problems and all that so you will like that session so just uh, register and tomorrow attend that session thank you you can leave and you can go for the next lecture thank you